Hi, so I just wanted to do a quick video here to show you some of the stuff I've got planned for LinkedIn and also a little bit on YouTube as well. So for a long time now, I've been wanting to go through the 3D model database and just talk about stuff. I never really had the courage to do it because a lot of time I have to research stuff in depth and I'm also a little bit scared about telling people stuff that obviously isn't true. So normally I'll record the videos, then they go through sort of three rounds of QC and this is after I've spent I don't know, weeks and weeks and weeks learning about each of these machines before I can even make the video. So it's quite a lot to, to do really. And unfortunately it takes away some of the joy of teaching engineering. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do some freestyle videos, things where I know about the machine, I know about the component, I know about the equipment, and I'm happy just to talk about it. So as an example, a turbocharger, this one over here, I can tell you what it is, how it works, where it's installed, you know, some of the pressures, temperatures it might operate at and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen one before, it might be quite interesting. And over here, we've got a fire extinguisher. I'm not gonna tell you anything about that because I don't know anything about it. And luckily for me, there's about, I don't know, over 500 3D models here. So I can just pick the ones that I know something about and then hopefully tell you something interesting. This bag, bagger 288 here, I haven't actually seen one of those, but I've been to a mining um, sort of facility in Hungary and they were using stuff like this and they're pretty mammoth. I could probably show you a picture of that one. Uh, they're quite interesting. Um, ball valves, whatever, tidal power stations, I've been to hydro plants and yeah. So we can talk about some of these things. They're gonna be short five minute videos, maybe something that you wanna consume uh, while you're on your lunch break with your phone or whatever. And hopefully they'll be quite informative and interesting. Uh, aside from that, some of the stuff that's planned for LinkedIn. So we've got the stuff like this, handbooks, like this one here is a combined cycle power plant explained handbook. This one here is a bearing lubrication explained. This one here is crankcase explosion relief valve explained. This one here is fresh water generator explained. We've also got ones for steam turbines, water tube boilers, fire tube boilers, and many other things. We're gonna be releasing one to two of these a day. Now, they're pretty good. Like if you sort of scroll down here, you'll see you know, what it is, what it does, how it works and all those kind of things. There's over a hundred of these and that's why we're gonna release one or two a day. Personally, I think they're quite good to have on your hard drive. Um, they're quite visual and yeah, ultimately they're free. So why not stick them on your hard drive? And if you really want to, you can click on this link here and that'll send you to our newsletter where you'll get notified whenever we release new things. We've got two new video courses out this week. Um, in fact, over the next couple of days, one is a fire tube boiler course and the other one is a, a emergency power systems course. So yeah, aside from that, we've got an exhaust valve, um, well, a marine two-stroke engine exhaust valve handbook coming as well. And we've got other ones planned. So there's a lot happening. And hopefully this time this year, we're going to start sharing it a bit more than we did in the past. In the past, it's quite difficult to produce stuff and share it. Now we've got a little bit more of a larger team and we can start to share this stuff out and do it in a methodical way. So I'm hoping to get all that out starting this week. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat and a hoodie, it's not because I'm transitioning from engineering to rap. It's, uh, yeah, it's not because I'm having a midlife crisis. At least I don't think so but it's mostly just because I'm cold. And at some point I need to get some heating in this room uh, rather than heat the entire house. And that's why the heating's off. Anyway, right. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, yeah, I'll be in touch.